To be a Muslim, I have to believe in the messengers. We believe that it was always one message for all messengers. If he is one God, and we are one humankind, and you agree with me on that, then why send different messages? Of course, it was always one message sent through ages through, with different messengers, but it was always the same message, and that was the message. Worship God alone and do not associate any partners with him. We believe that all messengers are the best human beings, and they do not commit sins. They do not commit major sins. So we do not believe that a messenger of God can commit or committed adultery. Actually, because when God, the creator, chose, he chose the best of, the, of his creatures and made them his messengers. And if someone can commit adultery with the wife of his son at the corner of the street, can't he tell lies? He can tell lies. So how come I believe in the scriptures that he carried to me? Muslims believe that messengers of Allah are the most honored and the most respectable people and they do not commit major sins. Muslims believe that none of them is divine. None of them is the son of God. And we believe that Jesus is a messenger like other messengers. But actually Jesus, for us, has special respect and his mother, of course. And we consider him one of the best five people ever walked on earth starting by Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Those five messengers suffered a lot, and they carried a very important message. And to prove to you that this is my religion, I'm not trying to beautify my religion. This is what Allah is telling us in the Quran, the principal source of every Muslim's faith and practice. God is telling us, say, we believe in Allah, and the revelation given to us, which is the Quran, and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the tribes, and that given to Moses and Jesus, and that given to all prophets from their Lord, we make no difference between one and another of them, and we submit to Allah, which means, and we are Muslims.